Hey guys! Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up, everybody? This is a perspective. My name is Raylene Nix. This is Fat Cam speaking. And welcome to the perspective. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Another day, another week. We got Destiny Denise. Hey, y'all. <laughs> It's a pleasure to always have the one and only beautiful Destiny Denise here in the building with us today. We actually have a guest speaker. She'll be on the show a little later on today. On the second half of the show. Is that me or am I tripping? Did you hear that? Hear what? It's like a like a reverb. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everybody had a good week. How was your week? It was good. You know me, the whole, like, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is not my week. What? The look, okay, I don't like week. weekdays. Okay, look, you I don't like I Mondays go. or Tuesdays. <laughs> Wednesday's, like, my best day because, of course, we're here. Yeah. Thursdays, eh, whatever. <laughs> Fridays. Turn up, turn up. Freaky <laughs> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Fridays is what, I just like my weekends. Like, I just like to be weekends. I think you and every American like their weekends. <laughs> Of course. That has a job. If you have a job, then and if if you don't have a job, then every day's a weekend. Man, so you can't really complain. Yo, so let's get into the question of the week, Cameron. All right, man. So the question it, it, it makes me square, and, and we may have touched on this topic before, but my question is: Are we are we really losing the sanctity of marriage? Mm. And I'm and it's actually like a two parter. Uh, are are we getting married for the right reasons? Because it seems to me like the only reason why chicks today are are getting married is for the ring purposes. That you know ring. what I'm saying? It's, it's not necessarily like, for oh, union. for the union mm -hmm. or the bond that you have between you and your counterpart. It's more so like, hey, I got a fucking ring. Look at it. Look how much it costs. This is on my finger. You know what I'm saying? And every time I see a chick, especially in today's society, these, these young chicks that's out here getting married and getting engaged, the only thing I do when you go on Instagram, what are they doing? Bragging. They're fixing their hair. <laughs> they always fixing their hair. It's always whatever I can do to get my finger in the fucking camera. Indirectly in the bragging. Lens, like in the lens. Get it. Your, in, <laughs> in the indirect, yeah, the indirect hair flip. Bitch, we know what you're doing. Hand over the mouth. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, you just started using your left hand so much, bitch, you're right-handed. Now, all of a sudden, you, you, you're using your left hand for everything. Like, that, that, we, we, we losing it. And the reason why I say that, we can get into one of our first topics today. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's Rob, Rob Kardashian. In and, black China. And this black China shit. <laughs> now, if that's not at the most awkward union I thought about that she this morning too. I was I was kind of thinking too like it was kind of awkward it was so fast because you think of like marriage you know you kind of go through the process like the courting process you know you date you meet the family you get the blessing like it was just like full force jet we going straight to marriage like we yeah, going straight to like, altar like with these relations with these celebrity <laughs> relationships they go super fast you know she oh. got you know the, the the future tattoo that she got on her hand when was real. When, that was real. Yeah. You know that shit still ain't even off her hand yet. But it was like, she did it video. for a publicity stunt. It uh, was it was publicity when she did all that. No, nah, I think she got she I think she really, played herself. She didn't she got with future? future? No, she she they was talking Future got number one, this is how trash that feel, like like yo, this is this number one. Well this, she was a leading role in his uh video. But but but, but on one of one of one of the songs that I've heard Future he says I blow a bag of dead. Trying to go fuck me so crazy. Number one, he's talking about having relationships. So, yes, he's smashed. He's saying that she's going to fuck him. So, that is, that's factual there. Number one, that, that's, that's somebody's mom now. You really getting shouted out. That, Shit, that's, future that's, that's, eight people daddy. What you mean? Like, but, 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 that's a, but, but when you are a child coming up and you just like, yo, throw that future on and you hear a record, that's just, nigga, just name calling your mom out. Like, how she just going to bang the shit out some random ass... But look, listen, listen, listen. She, know what no. she getting herself she, into. Exactly. She she's a grown she... ass woman. She know what she doing. Yeah, 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 um, if, if, whatever, 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 um, whatever choices that she makes in life, she understands that it's gonna affect her son in the long run. Like, dude, come on now, Black China. They, no disrespect to the relationship. Disrespect. Whatever, because if they're really in love, they're in love. I'm not gonna. Disrespect. Said disrespect it. Disrespect I'm not gonna disrespect it. <laughs> you know why? But she just made the father of her own child. An uncle to his own baby. Y'all better stop with them Instagram what? memes. Y'all no, better that ain't, stop. That's not no Instagram what? meme. That's actual and factual. I know, but I'm that's just saying, factual. like, he's, but, but love is love. Okay, it, it, it happens.
happens. You know, it's people in a, like we stated like two weeks ago, it's people in the hood that do this shit every day. You feel me? Yeah. You got cousins that's brothers and sisters and weird shit like that every day. But I, just because but some are people they doing it for a publicity it. stuff See, or the, are they the, really the fact, in love? The, the, the fact that this whole thing The world is? may never know. No matter how many clovers he put under his picture caption, how many hearts and rings, <laughs> nobody's going to really know if it's for real, if it's for money, if it's for show. It's all publicity. Nobody knows. But the fact of the matter that there is a child in this equation, that would tell me, like, yo, you know what? As a parent, I can't even, I don't care how much we connect. At the end of the day, my child's father is dating your sister. And if we made this an actual factual union and they decided to make that a real, this would confuse the shit out of this little boy. Exactly. He is going to be looking at, okay, so now let me get this straight. So you mean to tell me, Rob, Papa Rob, is my stepdad, and his sister is my stepmom, but that's also my auntie because that's just the, how the family relations go. Yo, that is something that a child has to grow up with, and especially in today's society, kids are cruel. When that child hits elementary, and he hits middle school, and he hits high school, and he has all of this shit that his parents are doing, his parents are just doing a whole bunch of fuck shit, and... It's just under a microscope, and they have no real sense of how far this well, is I going mean, to go. I mean, you've seen Tyga tweeted, what happiness is happiness. What his baby mama do regarding her happiness does not involve his happiness. It just so happened that China was petty and said, fuck it, I'm going to date your brother. Like, See, that's the petty. Sh like, why are we being petty like there's not a child in this stuff? Be a petty parent. Is, if you, I mean, be petty if you're single. At the end of the day, you that child's parent. You're going to have to break down what that child, you know, the questions that that child has. You as a parent going to have to feel that. You as a parent. Me, me my parenting skills going to be A1 because I would never put my child in that situation. But you on the other hand, you're going to have some explaining to do. And I hope you got your story laid out so your kid could fully understand what's going on. But the engagement... That the shit's still fresh. They, that's still a headline for the week, and the you nigga know Kim already was got in a seventy-two day two, re, marriage. Come on now, we all know. <laughs> they, they whole family is a circus. Come on now, it is a circus. It's a circus, we and, all and everybody surrounding that family is a fucking circus. Like it's 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 a money ploy, and it's all for clicks. Duh, all because what, but this I feel like this is going too far. Because even if it is for clicks and it's not real. The fact that this is being portrayed, the little boy is out there uh, with with Rob and all of that shit on fucking uh, family dates and shit. Um, and this is news. This stuff ain't going away. It's not going to get taken down. You know what I'm saying? Like, this stuff will continue on and live on. And when that boy gets old enough to own the phone, he can... This will all surface. Well, you know... Um once the engagement happened, did you see on uh, Black China Snap how she was kind of like flashing the ring and she was uh, mouthing the lyrics to Kanye's song about how, you know, Black China going and rob and all this. So I, I think it's they taking it as a joke. This shit, is, this joke. shit is corny, man. I'm so I like if I, I could laughed. Just, we need to. Um, <laughs> I laughed. When I saw everything on Twitter, Insta, all that, I laughed and I was just like. <laughs> she is the queen of petty. I just personally feel like if Rob Kardashian was alive, she'll be fucking their father. I don't even what? think she even look at Rob. How you gonna father. do like that? <laughs> I think that I. You see how petty she is now by going after their brother. Go for Rob daddy. was fucking vulnerable. He didn't have nobody. He was fucking three hundred and fifty goddamn pounds sitting in his own. That's his own family kind of fault. That's his own family. True, fault, true. That's very true. You can't be salty because somebody else came and did what you was been supposed to be doing. You was been supposed to be supporting. And your it just so happened to be up. Black China. Yeah. Oh well. I. I you you got this man out of a slump. We ain't seen Rob in Lord knows Years how long after his on breakup camera. With like <laughs> now this nigga on snap and everything. Like oh you just doing it big, huh? This is all the money. Please. China gave China. Uh, hey China. Rob China. got kicked she out. Gave the him house. his mojo back. Rob needs to how Rob money. got his groove back. <laughs> the only thing I, I can think of because it is funny. It's all funny, but there's a boy. There's a little boy. With a big and you're a parent, so I understand yeah, how so you I, can relate. Like, Wait a minute, you just played him. You just said a little boy with a big forehead. His forehead is just... <laughs> how you gonna say you feel bad for him and then shoot on him? I feel him. bad for him and his big forehead. Wow. I, I have, Ooh, I have wow. a gorgeous child, so I can, I can shit on any <laughs> other kid I want to. God bless but me. you feeling bad for God young God bless Cairo. me and my, my gene pool for me to be able to talk shit about oh other people's ugly God. ass kids. That ain't, that ain't 
right, is a right. unique that is looking not baby. Right. Okay. They need to cut that boy hair. See, at uh, first you see, was talking see, about see, how no, 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 as your, <laughs> you, you got the law. Come on, now, see the cat there. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. We just gonna have to nip this shit in the bus, so we don't have a cake. I feel bad for Cairo. Then you gonna shoot on him? Turn around and shoot on him, just yeah. hard, full force. You can't gun bad. it. I said I feel bad for him and his big forehead. Oh, he, <laughs> that I motherfucker's big. You I cannot can't. deny that. That shit is. Mad He's gonna grow right. into it. Okay. Everybody has, you know. I had a big head as a child. Whose forehead I is low key that? grew into it. I that tiger's forehead. No, that's actually her phone. That's like China. She always wear bangs. You she, can't see it. Look, no, but uh, yo, her mom is crazy too. Miss Tony, mama, I've seen a porn of her mama. Is nuts. She, that's what I don't understand. Her mama is out here popping it. Who <laughs> cares? Getting it like I didn't seen it on on media takeout. It was like, yo, you know, Black China mama got a porn from back in the days. So I was like, what? Let me see. Oh, <laughs> and I peeped it. See. You ain't shit for even peeping that nasty ass video. Not that I, Tony, no, huh? no, no, I no. Black China mama. Now the little boy, see the boy already fucked up because his grandma a old ho. Poor stuff. His mama a new ho. <laughs> Hey, the apple don't yo, fall too far from the tree. Your stepmama is from the family of the richest hoes. <laughs> like, goddamn. Thank just... God he ain't a girl or he'll be a little toddler hoe. See, oh, but Grandpa God. Bruce might turn him out. He just might be on that side of the path and just be hoeing it out on that end. He might be some drag hoe. You know what I'm saying? Drag hoe? Big, uh, big forehead. No. Drag hoe. A drag okay, hoe. Okay, we need to stop talking. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting a headache from talking about them because they whole fucking connection of how they're drag together home. is just ridiculous. <laughs> a drag it's hoe. ridiculous as hell because I... That shit is like fucking math. I don't get that shit. For real, that's like calculus. <laughs> yeah, it is. You really, gotta, you really gotta piece together, and it's you like you gotta have down. a graph of of who is connected to whom. A tree map. And what is this relationship now? Like that is a new relative, almost like your, your daddy, is... uncle. Like what? That should just it's be just... a new name, like uncle. I don't even know what would be the replacement word for just situations like this hillbilly type shit. But um, this is like rich hillbilly it, uh, shit. Like a dunkle, like a dad and an uncle. Nah, I, I, <laughs> nah not even that, because I don't even want to put the two words, but just like how each word is it's, its own. Like each word has its own. Uncle Pop, uncle daddy, dad. uncle. No, no, uncle dad. No, no, uncle no. daddy. Not even uncle dad. I don't want it to have the dad or uncle. It just needs to be its own word. Just That just means you fucked up. Like, my nigga. <laughs> my nigga, you fucked yeah. up. <laughs> That just gets fucked. Hey, you nigga. Cairo is crying out for help. Oh He's crying God. out for help. That's why you I feel like that's why they shower him in gifts. If you see on Snap, like yeah, that little spoiled. boy has everything imaginable: fire truck, cars, race cars, all type of stuff. Because that I feel like inside their conscience, they feel bad. Like damn, we you know. At the end of the day, up. the money gonna come and go, but. The mentality of that child for the rest of his life, he's gonna look back and be like, "That boy's gonna, gonna be one of these fucked out. up." Is like in, in about, in and about I feel a, so bad. Boy, what, four like years I feel old so shit? bad for North. I feel so bad for North West ain't playing. She like no paparazzi. We ain't playing with nah, that. Nah, you know what? I feel like, <laughs> like North feel is a little bit North more West. normal. Yeah, I feel like North is a little bit norm more normal but because her, her situation mom. is a little bit more. No, listen though, that's gonna be on every. Everybody's gonna like. Like tease her and fuck with her because of that. Your mommy did a sex tape. Your mommy been in a real You a, mean? A, a, but you know what? You seem like the type to tell her. Your mommy did a sex oh, tape. Like, <laughs> but you know what? Though? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Let's not, up. let's not, let's not talk about because uh, some of these kids. You got to understand that that that's a different class, and with different class comes different problems. Them people that might be trying to shoot on North about her having a uh, mom that has a sex tape out. They moms might be on some coke or some type shit. Honestly, because really, I don't whoa, think it's you know, most porn stars have kids. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, wait, so. wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta introduce you before you jump oh, on the yeah, mic. We gotta we let sure you know that you're the room. Okay, so we have our speaker for the week. Spoke. Funk Master Lex, you know I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I made it. Welcome to the Perspective Lex. It is an honor to have you here. I am so happy to have you here. Aww. Yeah, before you even hop on the mic, we gotta introduce you first. I was waiting, but it was getting good. You feel me? I was like sitting here, like, dang, is this mic on? Like, I'm about to drop my two cents in this piggy bank. Like, she was just waiting for her yeah, turn. Yeah, like, don't even know. Y'all didn't even know I was gonna be a ghost speaker. You feel me? <laughs> Well, well, welcome to no, the show, back though. to we the porn thing. I don't really think it's a big of a deal because personally, 
I knew somebody who mama did porn when I was like in high school and I was fascinated like how do you feel how do you really feel like it wasn't more so like a make fun of like oh your mama porn it was really like dude like how do you feel about this that niggas could really search your mama you know, on Google I had a situation <laughs> like that where one of my homies one of my homies from like in 05, 04 or something like that the homie Crafty Low rest in peace um, after he passed away he had a girl I'm about to put her name out there I don't give a fuck Antoinette oh. her name is Antoinette and she stayed right there on the corner at Cedar you better stop hey, you better stop she'll stay there no business but, <laughs> uh, I, I remember because after after Crafty passed away <laughs> it was like yo the word on the block was like yo she got a porn and then I came across the shit just on the humbug and it was like, yo, she in the Jake Steed video. Oh. I was like, yo, she getting piped by Jake Steed. Yo, I had to see it. I was like, yo, that's Antoinette. So every time I saw her, I was just like, hey, Antoinette. Yeah. I, I don't know if she knew what I knew, <laughs> but I knew. Mm. And I and I let her, hey, Antoinette. <laughs> I know what's you're, up. You're crazy. I was about, but I was young though. I was like maybe like 18, 17. You're 17, ridiculous 17. for that. You're, hey, you're, Antoinette. You're if you listening, boo, hey, stop, Antoinette. Stop it. I see you, girl. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we are going to take a short music break, and we'll be back with our segment called Your Perspective. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm not into the shit you into, which is cool. Nigga, use a bitch and your bitch a dude, which is cool. Uh, I look around and all I see is fools. Some of y'all got street cred, some of y'all got pre approved. Some of y'all got red carpet rolled out for y'all quick as you. Drop, went right from a Honda to a box 62. They dancing, they ballin' and zoning like they Victor Cruz. Labels only care about hits and views, which is cool. Not only am I the alchemist, I'm the evidence. The wicked witch is cool. The cause of her demise reminds me of this jet I'm in. A flying residence. If you don't write your own rhymes, get offended. This is to you and you. Listen, fool. No more bars for you. You can't raise the bar. You ain't in the building. Matter of fact, you can't even lift the stools. Cool. That liquor disappeared from my system like skipping school. Me and these niggas live by the same don'ts, but different dudes. To get their name out, they willing to get the lube. That ball mind fit me like my religion true. Call my assistant, tell him I'm slipping. I'm spitting jewels. Somebody come out and get them like the Memphis dudes. We independent. Why y'all flash bitches? We in the trenches. Ball sack licking addiction. Y'all need an invention. The gas pedal mashing the carpet in them SL Benzes. That dash retarded like the Special Olympic. The needle leaning past the finish line like Lance Armstrong. I'm inside it. Smelling like your baby mama vagina. Bonfire Island and Creed Adventures. I'm not a killer. I'm just stricken with a sickness called homicidalitis. Flat screen surrounds me and my Dub C dub in my whip so she can read her Twitter mentions in three dimensions. <laughs> There's no such thing as flossing if you ain't never seen a dentist. But some of y'all need to take them gold slugs out of your face, load them in the pistol and shoot them the fuck in the outer space. Maybe I ain't rich as you, which is cool. Maybe I ain't weird as you, which is cool. Maybe it ain't a style to be lyrical. Hey, welcome back. That was a quick snippet from Oyster Five. Now you know that's one of my favorite rappers, so y'all gonna hear a lot of that. And if you don't give, you don't like that shit. Fuck you, don't get shit. <laughs> oh well, play what the fuck I want until y'all start sending some motherfucking music. Hey, hey. hey. so how about you that? Don't keep press your listeners. I don't give a shit. <laughs> your voice, nigga, don't listen, nigga. That's what it is, nigga. I'm real, nigga. We don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not peel their muffin cat back blue. Man! <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Man. Say that shit with your chest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, really you did. Was, I don't no. give a fuck. You did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But we got somebody in the house today that we uh we wanted to touch on a few issues with. Uh and they seem to have a lot of uh insight of this these these topics. I would like to hear her her point of view because I like her vibe. I like her dreads. I like her watch. Hey. She's fly as shit. Fly you nigga. Know what I'm yeah, that's what I do. Welcome Man. to the show, Lex. Hey. Funk master. Funk master. 
Funk Master Lex. Funk Master. Funk Master Lex. Don't forget Funk it. Master Lex. That's the that's the What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, hey, check out our mixtape though, right? For, 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 for Perspective mixtape coming soon. You, you feel if, me? For people who don't know, <laughs> Funk Master Flex. That's his. That's his. Uh, his little radio thing when he. Oh, when he come on. Out, you know, mm. Funk Master. Yeah, that's his drop. You so you can tell so. he a little before us, huh? You can tell. I'm yeah. old as shit. Cause you, cause you already know his age gap. He really thinks that he's that much older than us. No, you know what? I am older. Cause what's y'all age group? What's y'all like? Twenty. Don't worry about it. 22. Yo, look, check this out. You're only like six years older than me. Only like six okay. years? That's older that's a than lot. my whole son. Shut that's up. six years. That's a long time. That, that's I'm over you time. right now. Because <laughs> it's like, a lot of, number one, a lot you're of not things a decade change. older than me. Not a decade, but half a decade. A lot of things can happen in that small increment of time. I mean, yeah. Well, we here now born, together, so we going to go in the middle the of the, of the 80s, time together. You feel me? The middle of the 80s, you got a little bit... Molding us, you feel me? Uh, he ain't oh, in the oh, middle. Oh, he oh, like towards oh, oh, the tail end of the eighties, but I caught like that part. I caught <laughs> the nineties for real, for real. Yeah, like, yeah. I you got the beginning to end. Of living color, not the reruns and shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, okay. I ain't got reruns either. All I got right, the set. right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? yes. See, you're a cheater. And yes. Martin, I'm not no cheater. You got to watch it weekly. So I get to watch it all day. We have to use the TV guy. Where old people be like back in my day. Yeah, now I just that TV <laughs> and some foil. Oh, goodness. Okay. Foil. Y'all don't know nothing about the struggles of having to learn how to read a TV guy. Uh uh. Don't be mad. I did. I, I never did. had to look okay, in the newspaper for the, for the local baby. show. Oh, you still felt the struggle. Shoot, I remember Kate the Jets came out, right? By 93. Yes. 93. We went like 97. We lived in the 90s, too. Right. Then we tried to play us. I was seven. They really be trying to play me. Like, I got seven years. The 90s. I ain't got tell me I ain't a real 90s baby, man. I was when I came so, out. I was but I still got some. <laughs> 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 going through puberty I, I was holding, I was holding <laughs> it down in the first grade. What? Right. I was going, in, I was going through straight man. puberty. I was having hair all over I my had, body I, in places I, I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> I was just worried about how to open the chocolate milk. Bro. <laughs> see, see, we had two different life issues at the end of the hey, night. Right? I was like, convince my milk. mom to give me that Burger King watch. <laughs> like, mama, the, I need all of the these. Man, I need can all Can we please go watches. to the drive through to get that right. kid's meal, please? Like, get that man. watch. Mama, it light the up, Burger mama. King watch. <laughs> yes. The Rock Rats. You don't know about me. You was old. You was old. That's why 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 you was old. You know, <laughs> niggas still collect them watches to this day. Like, Yo, it's so hard. You don't remember how much they might be worth. When McDonald's like said, sad. like, and it's Rugrats? a million served. Y'all don't remember that. Yeah. No, y'all don't. Yeah, I do. Y'all don't remember that. Look. It was like, the, yeah, some of us still on the McDonald's yeah. shit. I was, I was alive <laughs> back when McDonald's. it was like 63 people served. Ooh, you shut, ancient. Shut the hell McDonald's kill <laughs> all them people, bro. You see, McDonald's <laughs> kill <laughs> all them people, bro. <laughs> I done seen them serve a million death burgers, nigga. Like, <laughs> I heard a lady at McDonald's yesterday. I was getting a caramel sundae. She was like, yeah, can you well done my meat? I'm like, it's still fake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What's more done? Do you want it to Whether be? or not, if you cook it through, it's she still fake. She want an extra burnt patty? What? what? Like, like, that's real meat, though. What do you really mean? Well done. It's not Like, it make you feel healthier and better <laughs> about yourself. McDonald's is just... Uh, Whatever I, food I you eat wrote. McDonald's, like, on my worst days. Like, if I only got a dollar yeah. ten to my name... I'm going to really? jack. I'm and there. I ain't had a worst day in a long <laughs> time. I'm not going to McDonald's. Yeah, I don't eat McDonald's <laughs> at all. I'd rather yeah. fuck with Jack in the Box than McDonald's. I take day. my chances at Jack. <laughs> but I fuck with the McDonald's fries, though. I yeah. do. Man. I, I had to cut them. out all... I don't even eat the breakfast no more. Nothing. I only eat the All I Sundays eat is oatmeal there. from there and man, shit, oatmeal. oatmeal. fake, too. <laughs> it, it's, it's, you got fake oatmeal, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat the fruit. It's the oat, That's man. That's GMO it's fruit, you feel me? I don't fake eat the fruit. Oats. No, I'm just kidding. It's plastic. GMO. 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 Somebody gotta make a meme out of that. Somebody has to make a meme. That's exactly what that shit is. This shit is That shit is plastic. The water that shit turned into milk. Man-made oats, man. Plastic oats. I'm fiber glass. You know that shit. Not fiber. Fiber glass. Fiber glass. All right, y'all. They shit. Let's shoot no McDonald's. I'm done. Okay, we done. We're done. We just care about y'all, audience. Stop eating that shit for real. Don't feed y'all kids. One happy meal a month. Y'all want to satisfy them with that toy? 
That's it, bro. <laughs> damn, <laughs> for real. Kids are gonna be like, damn. Yeah, real, my kids are gonna be like, like, my mom doesn't let me eat McDonald's. <laughs> you damn right. I love you. <laughs> for real, you just go to McDonald's and get the toy. For real, that was what like, it was about. Like, can I just get the toy? Right. I don't want nothing else from y'all. Can when I, I used to have them lit toys where it was just like, damn, you can't get this nowhere but McDonald's. For like, real. <laughs> hey, I still got the Disney toys, the puzzle pieces that click together. You remember that? The, the full Disney with like, the Christmas edition. You feel me? I, I got do. all them lined up. I McDonald's remember used that. to be lit. You know how many people we probably just pushed to go to McDonald's right now, they probably like, yo, man, I want a sausage for real right now, my for nigga. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not, no. <laughs> don't do it. It sound good. Kevin Hart voice. <laughs> no, no. Don't. Yeah. Hey, don't do no. Don't go there. Yeah. Hey, no. Stop. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> it's fake, nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you're gonna go night night nigga like you're gonna go night night for real yeah we letting these jokes fly we getting these jokes off today. we got all the jokes right now but there's a topic that i do want to talk about i don't know if you guys read about the young lady who died in the lapd custody yep in her jail cell and the family was not notified till wednesday Whew. um she died in her jail cell in the custody of lapd um the mother had talked to her like on Easter, saying that she wanted to see her daughter on Tuesday because she had a court hearing on Tuesday. But LAPD did not notify that family until Wednesday afternoon, I believe, telling that their fam- telling the family and friends that Miss Wilson passed away in the jail cell. Similar to the, of course, we all know Sandra Black place. And um, let me let me get this straight. She passed away Tuesday. Sunday. Oh, she passed away. She Sunday. passed away Easter. So she talked to her mom. She talked to her mom earlier. Cause of death? They said it was suicide. As always, man. Like, people just want to just kill like, themselves. Right, off. Yes. the same it? rhetoric. It's, it's like, y'all can't even get Come creative. Come up with a new excuse. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, we just gonna keep falling for the okie doke every time? Like, no. Like, it ain't that many depressed people in this society where they talking to their parents, and then yeah, like, all of a sudden, boom, they just want to end their life. Yeah, they want to set their gun and commit suicide so all. bad. Yeah. Like, how was she committed suicide, and she was just on the phone, like, I'm still here, mom. I'm you fine. feel me? Yeah, yeah like, you know? Like, like yeah, mom, I want to see you. Tuesday at my court hearing because that's what the that's that, crazy though yeah, to she, end to hear that in LA, LA I haven't right heard of that case yeah that's like right, it just could happen to prove it could be any of us you feel me when I seen Sandra Bland I was like damn real life that really could be me yeah at any moment point in time because I am known for going off on the police when they deserve it because I am they too. be you deserving it yeah one. you know and it's just like you know why? how many times I called a cop a pig Man, you I didn't call them nigga. all kinds of bitches. <laughs> I mean, because they ass out. I but I didn't been in situations to where they deserve to be yeah. to be cussed out. You feel me? I didn't been pulled out the car for no reason. I didn't been at a repass and they pepper sprayed the kids and shit because they bust the repass down, pepper sprayed all the babies in the house. Like you know, like. I've been in situations yeah, where it's I've like I don't. This, this is yeah, when I you know knew the police cops just be wilding out. Wasn't no. shit. I was in a situation where it was me, and my boyfriend. We went to go see uh, that movie with Taraji and uh, Idris Elba. No good deed. Mm. It's when it first came out, and I also remember that weekend. It was a, a Floyd Mayweather fight, and we just came out the movie. And I'm like, oh, babe, let's let's go see if we can go get some tables at Buffalo Wild Wings because um, we want to eat after the movie. But unfortunately, Buffalo Wild Wings was packed. So we just standing on the sidewalk. We just waiting because uh, we had already paid the security guard, I believe, like $5 extra to, like, get a table, you know. So we waiting, and one of the security guards, bitch-ass security, said, you guys can't stand right here. Can y'all stand over here? So, okay, cool. So me and my boyfriend, we just moved to the other side. No problem. About, like, five minutes later... Another little security guard gonna see and tell us to move to the other side where we was at. So we like, hell no, like, we not moving. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, y'all playing with us. <laughs> then bitch ass Torrance PD wanna come. Oh, Ooh, there it Torrance. goes. Torrance. They are right. horrible. They so, are. Oh, bitch ass <laughs> Torrance PD come talking about something. We need to leave the premises. My, okay, if y'all ain't met my boyfriend. We need boyfriend, to leave the premises. Yes, we need Why to leave the premises. Why they so extra? So, so I'm like, hey, wait. We pay $5 to, nah, forget that. Like, we don't sit here. I mean, like why would they force you to leave the premises? Because, because they want you to, to move. We wasn't going to rent a security. cop still. Like, I got to leave? That that's part. a whole nother, uh, like, yeah. yeah. That's so like over my exaggeration. Boyfriend, like, my boyfriend is like 6'4", big. So his big ass going to sit on the curb. Like, I'm not moving. Y'all going to have to move me. 
Because he's mad because he's like, y'all fucking with us for no reason. Yeah. We the only two African-American couples that y'all fucking with. Because yeah. at the time, it was a little, I'm not going to lie, it was a Latino couple. Then it was a Caucasian couple and an Asian couple. We was the only black couple. They only fucked with us. They didn't say nothing else to neither of those couples but us. So I'm like, nah, let's just move. I was like, come on, babe, let's just leave. I just said, like, I don't want no, I don't want no confrontations because this is when, like, the Mike Brown situation just happened. Mm. And I'm like, nah, like, let's just go. You a black dude. Nah, fuck that. So he like, nah, we gonna sit here. So the more cops start to surround my boyfriend. That's when I was like, nah, we gotta go. So we're going. It's my boyfriend's in the front. It's myself, and there's two cops behind me. Something told me to turn the hell around. I turn around, and it's this motherfucking cop with his billy club, like he ready to swing while my back is turned. So as my boyfriend is walking, I'm little. This fucking cop like this. So I get in the cop face. I'm like, if you ever pull that billy club out on me, you better have a damn good reason to use it. Right. So I pull my goddamn phone out. Like, what's your badge number? Right. Like, I start fucking with him. Get your phone out of my face. Get your phone out of my face. What you gonna do? Throw it in the street? Right. I'm in the cop face at this point. My boyfriend, like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, what happened? Like, as we get in the car, they like, what happened? He, he asked me. He said, what happened? I said, he had his beauty club out as he's escorting us to our car. Like, as if he was gonna beat us. And yeah, I told that me. man, you have to have a damn... We listened to what you said. We was leaving a property. It was no reason for you to have your billy club out. It was no reason for the other go- the other cop to have, like, holding his gun, like, as if we were going to turn around and start shooting at y'all or something. Like, these cops Yeah, I don't know why they so scared. Like, they just so timid. Lisa, we got and some bitch-ass like, cops. Why, some bitch yeah, ass why cops. are you a cop? <laughs> like, if you can't restrain anybody without using lethal force if they're unarmed, then you shouldn't be a cop. If you're that scared of black people to where if they turn around too fast and you feel like you need to grab your gun, you probably shouldn't be a cop. Like, Even if somebody is walking up on you, like, if y'all feel like you feel like the dude is about to come up and try and fight you or tussle with you, you should be able to tussle. Exactly. You, Why? That should be a part of your, t- your training. You should be able to know how to fight, use certain and combat moves, and properly a restrain somebody without having to use any your type weapon. of weapon. Your lethal force. Your yeah. I seen a video. It was like uh, this cop wrestling some guy, and I don't know. I was just looking at the comments on Facebook, and you know, you never know how dumb people really are until you read Facebook comments. <laughs> I advise everybody go read Facebook comments Facebook. and get a general idea of how the population thinks because our mental is really fucked up and people are like oh a cop shouldn't have to wrestle a cop shouldn't have to fight this hard oh if he would have shot that guy he would have been wrong whoop 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 like they're doing nothing but rolling on the ground <laughs> literally they're like this dangerous man something so- why is he dangerous because he's black that part that's dangerous. the only reason that he's dangerous because they're literally part. doing See. nothing but wrestling on the ground nobody's even swinging nobody's punching or nothing they're literally just tussling i never understood why cops <laughs> got that slap on the wrist where it would be like oh this guy approached me aggressively so i drew my weapon and shot him exactly now if as a civilian they they say oh yeah it was in the line of duty uh, he felt like he was being accosted. He felt Line like of duty, my ass, See, nigga. You now, ain't shit for now, doing that. Right. Straight now, up. Now, you ain't I shit. Am, now, if I am a regular civilian and that same situation happens to me, it would be a long time before I would be able to go home a free man. Oh, hell yeah. You know hell yeah. Saying? But cops get that same type of... Just because you're a cop and you feel like a guy is walking up on you real quick or he's about to fight you or whatever. If, if I'm getting into a fight with somebody and I pull my gun out and shoot that motherfucker, I'm a murderer. That part. Yeah, period. I'm a murderer. For us, it's Regardless, always guilty until no, proven innocent. I would have to Never be, yeah, innocent I would have to be severely getting my that ass beat right for there. me to have to say, okay, well, yeah, we understand why you use deadly force. Because You're going to get beat first. You're not even going to get a chance to get that your part. why, You're what, not. when, who, why. They're going to beat you first. They're going to beat sure. your ass before they even ask you a question. They're going to beat your ass before they even give you your... Um, your Miranda rights and it's fucked yeah, up it's yeah. so fucked up and then on top of that I don't know if y'all seen the footage of okay this week um, Nipsey Hussle and YG did the fuck Donald Trump video mm, mm-hmm. and they had all the anethi- 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 it's ethnicities. ethnicities. There we go. I was trying to say unethical then- I'm looking like what is it <laughs> okay look <laughs> check this out that was a tongue twister for me okay he had all the races come together pretty much in the fuck Donald Trump video. Because as we know, Donald Trump is racist. He doesn't like blacks, Muslims, Mexicans, all that. He's more so 
prejudice. Okay, yeah, we're going to say prejudice. No, I would saying. say racist because he does right now is in I, the sense I, of getting power to okay, where that's he why I can. Think it's pre- prejudice in, in terms of, because just to touch bases just a little bit. I saw a video of Donald Trump from like 1993 and he was doing a interview and they asked him, if you were to run for president, which political party would you run for? He was like, oh, I would run as a Republican. And they were like, why? He was like, because Republicans are stupid. They're easily persuaded. They're like puppets. They're dummies. And I'm just like, damn, like, because he's, this is who y'all want as president. He just says things for, you know. He's Punch like for the male you know, Hillary effect. Clinton. Yeah, he just but wants just it for a lot effect. more ignorant. Like, Hillary Clinton is like think, low key like, with her ignorance. She's like her, yeah. her jab, jab. Too, yeah, she, you know, yeah, she one she jab. Because you know, jab. last night Bernie Sanders won Wisconsin. Oh, and, yeah, yes. and Cruz. So, well, mm-hmm. with the whole Donald Trump and Ted Cruz race, Ted Cruz is like a lot of delegates behind him because you need like seventeen, maybe like between seventeen and twenty three hundred delegates to win the primary you know votes but Bernie Bernie is on Hillary ass y'all he like That's 90 good. delegates behind her after he won Wisconsin so it's it's not over like he won Hillary Hillary won like some big states like Hillary won Florida she won Texas but he won of course the whole so. west coast y'all yeah. like the whole west is for him with the exception of Arizona and Nevada yeah. everybody else is lined up but it's just those southern states you know that southern mentality that, that yeah. Hillary got them wrapped around her damn finger like, yeah damn. It's, it's, it's crazy <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry but um about the whole Donald Trump uh fuck Donald Trump video um and how Nipsey Hussle was actually talking to some people in the crowd, and we know SWAT came, and they little, they came SWAT team, guns pointed at him and all. Nipsey actually seen it, and he, he actually went to the front of, like, his, you know, where all the people, the front of the line, he put his hands up. And it was crazy how when I saw the video, it just clicked in everybody's head. Everybody put your hands up. Yeah. And everybody just started putting their hands up and started backing away. You can't shoot me if my hands is up. I tell anybody I'm with, it's like, if crazy. the police come up with us, we gonna hands up, don't shoot. And real life, I've been in a protest, and when you're protesting and you're out there chanting, man, that shit is powerful, you feel it me? Is. That energy and everything is powerful, and when you say that, the look on the cops' faces, they feel that too. They feel everything that we feel with that chant, especially because... Mike Brown was such a like controversial issue. Everybody knows what that is. Everybody knows where that chant comes from. Everybody. So if any time, like when I'm at a party, I always tell my friends, you feel me? Like the police come, we gonna put our hands up, hands up, don't shoot, all at one time, and we just keep saying it. And I was like, I bet you they leave. I bet money they they won't fuck with us. Yeah. Bet money, you feel me? They gonna leave because they know. They what we know own, you feel is. me? They, yeah, they already know what society, how society it's is moving. Turning, yeah. yeah, they're already aware. They're trying to control it, but, you know, nonetheless, it's not going to be any control unless the government start doing something about it. And I feel that's how it should be. No matter what, I feel we should keep fighting and keep being ruthless. And then, fuck it, if we got a riot to, you know, get your attention, everybody, yeah, yeah, riot. Because I will be in that motherfucking riot. In the 90s, yeah, yeah, why we keep rioting? It's so <laughs> bad, right? <laughs> Rioting this, rioting that, but you know, rioting is nothing but yes, uh, freedom of expression. You feel it's me? It's sure. nothing it's but expression, the <laughs> anger of how the world is and how we treat it. And at the end of the day, like we've been fighting this fight for how many years? You Too know, goddamn long. And niggas is tired, you and especially from passively. the police. Again, like the police is supposed to be here to quote unquote protect us. If they I don't feel safe, the shit. yeah, you know, if I don't feel They're safe not. around somebody who's supposed to protect me, well, why the fuck am I here? That's I like a constant danger zone. Safe. I do not feel safe with the LAPD. I seen a no. cop giving a parking ticket the other day. I'm like, shouldn't you be out fighting crime, my nigga? You on my block <laughs> no, in a residential area giving out a parking ticket. We, Leave it to park Why are they on the train? Why are they on the what, train? Man, That's for real, real giving me a see, ticket. Um, where we seen a, <laughs> the cop, it was like a female cop giving a ticket. And like literally, oh one yeah, black we seen a female cop. We was on like Western and like a hundred and like eight, and we see a lady, uh, two female cops. They're talking to a lady with like a dog, like, and it just seemed like a bullshit call, you know? Mm-hmm. Then we drive like maybe like a block, a block or a block and a half. It's a man like passed out like on the corner. People like frantic, trying like on their phones, and I'm just like, that is so crazy how mm-hmm. it's within meters away from each other, and how that call. Could have oh, potentially went to. I was with yeah. y'all. Because he really looked like dead like on the, the corner. Yeah. The way he was laying was like he 
fell like because the way his head was positioned it, it was he was laying it, up it, it seemed like he hole. collapsed but it was like head, an old guy or like like probably like middle age yeah he was middle age but but he probably had some alcohol I don't, yeah I don't, he, he looked like rough yeah you know what i'm saying but his head he was laying on his back but his head was was resting up yeah, against like the, the 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 pole, pole. oh like he had back yeah his head. so Damn. And it was like literally like on the opposite side of the it street. Weird. It was two cops bullshitting That's a down here. It was like literally <laughs> right down the street. All it took was for them to be like. Where are they when you, exactly. like, when you need them? Exactly. When you need them, the police are nowhere in sight. Where, like, where I work at, I, I work with the police. I have to. Yeah. That's what I have to do yeah. and where I work. And I was walking, I just got off the bus, and I actually seen, it was something had happened where I worked, and they had the yellow tape, so I'm guessing somebody got shot, killed, whatever. I don't know what happened, but I seen this black cop, and he was holding his gun, and it bothered me. I did not like that at all, because I had to walk past him to get to my job. And I got a big mouth, I can't hold water for shit. I had to ask him, I said, why are you holding your gun? I said, what's going on to where you need to hold your gun? Yeah. Where all these people, it's thousands of people where I'm at every day. Why are you sitting on the corner and just holding it? Yeah, that should and make he me could uncomfortable not, too. He could not, he could not give me a reason why he just sitting there on the corner holding That's his damn gun. He didn't have an answer? Did not have an answer. That's Nothing. horrible, the right? Poli the police department, it, 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 it changes people. Like, just to touch bases on what you guys were talking about earlier with the police, I feel like these police, they get recruited, they go through, you know, the rigorous training and everything, and right after they get onto the force, I feel like there's no more training put forth, you know? Because you yeah. got some slow-ass, sloppy-ass cops. I be seeing cops getting burned by teenagers, you know? It's Man. like, you're a cop. You're supposed to be trained in this field to be able to catch mm -hmm. criminals. Y'all niggas can't even catch the criminals half the time. So there's you no pull out your limit. gun. There's no weight limit. You pull or out no your no, but I'm saying no. I'm saying as far I mean, as you, still have to you go being in physical. shape. Mm. You, you being in yeah. shape. You see these cops that go through the whole the whole shebang. You know they go through the whole process and then they get on the force and there's no other training put forth to be able to fight cops off. Most of these cops ain't even gotten into a fight. And they, they, One yeah. day in a goddamn life. For real. They, so, you know, they feel, the little, they oh, I can't nerds. catch you, let me shoot you. We they, are not animals. Like a, we are not meant to be hunted down. Like, and that's exactly what the police department is. Where they have yeah. to just renew their credentials. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're not oh, yeah. animals. Yeah. We're being yeah. hunted like we're animals, like we're lions in Africa or something. They like, need to start sourcing weird. within our communities. The problem is none of these cops are from here. All these cops that are here from, like, Irvine and NorCal, you feel me? All these white-ass cops and all these black ass and latino ass neighborhoods being prejudiced and racist and forcing their views of what they see on fucking tv because i bet you half these cops don't know black people they sure don't you feel but me it's the, it's, never... the, it's the small-minded mentality of yeah, i don't want to be no cop i ain't no snitch and yada yada so then yeah, you got people you got who are too. afraid to go and be police officers and make they they're not looking because then that's our mentality yeah that's like the, the side. because the, the way the police that, force have me? shifted over the years, who would want to be a part of something like that? That's like, take for example, you got a weak ass basketball team. Mm. Would you want to go join that basketball team if it's just nothing good about it? You know, it's going to bring you down as a whole because birds of a feather flock together. We going to group y'all as, if one police is bad, all y'all motherfuckers is bad. That's Why? True. Because y'all all are police. Y'all all grouped together. It's That's no true. Just how they group all black people is ignorant and ghetto. We gonna yeah, group all you motherfuckers. I ain't not one good cop. I'm actually we all bad. doing a research study right now on the distrust of the police. So I'll be surveying a lot of people. I don't know if you want to come out, me. Des. Yeah, you feel me? me? No, we're gonna really go out. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, get a shirt go. and shit That's and go hit Venice. I'm with it. Pass let out me know. Surveys, yeah. I'm with it. And um, try to really um really see why we have this relationship with the police and seeing where it's rooted from which i already know you feel me because yeah. they kind of been fucking us over for you know the last couple 500 years it's just whatnot. cool to see other perspectives because they it are is. tied to the government and then that's i think that's another issue is we don't trust the government and Hell we no. know you know the police are working for the government so all hand in hand on top of experience on top of the media you feel me it's a lot going on with our relationship with law enforcement period and i do feel we need to better that but they need to do their part and we exactly. need to do our part Stop lying. we have a lot 
to do within our own communities that we need to work on, but it is still going to take both sides. It you is. You feel me, of the field to really get to exactly. where this utopia that they're trying to make America to be because mm -hmm. America is no utopia. I feel like with the government, I feel like they, it's, the mistrust is because, you know, the lies and, yeah, you know, 2016 is the information age. Social media, the internet is powerful. You learn all your information through those sources, believe it or not, basically. So I feel like with that, pe more people are learning about what's really going on. And that's what's really causing the disconnect between everybody, essentially, with everything. You know, we've been hearing about, without social media, you wouldn't hear about cases that we've been hearing about. You know, with the, for example, Miss Wilson and the LAPD, they didn't show that on the news. They I have to tell my family news. about that. My mom watches the news every day. She's like, I didn't see that. I'm like, of course they're not going to show you, mom, because that's going to cause an upward. Like, why is it a consistent pattern of suicide between black women and black men in, in, in prison right. being held when it be like on bullshit charges, like parking tickets, and why would I commit yeah, suicide over a parking you know, ticket? It, I'm just gonna it, let it, it go into collections. I'm black, like, duh. Like I'm yeah. not gonna kill myself over it. Like it I mean, we up. don't even as a race, like our suicide rate is really like low, yeah. Low as fuck. <laughs> like so how all these people so just committed they're suicide? They're just saying like, oh, they committed committed suicide, and then they try to throw like little bullshit from their past, mm -hmm. like oh, well they this this and that, or Sandra Bland once had a attempted suicide. So who gives that? Like, that if you really paid with, attention nah. to Sandra Bland, and I've seen her blogs, she was, even if she was slightly, you know, mentally or emotionally troubled, she was, was fine. Her life. She was pretty happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, she was fine with whatever, was going what on. her flaws, she had yeah, just you feel me? You could job. tell like, she yeah. was working Everything. through it, you feel me? And she was flourishing. And they murdered somebody <laughs> who was flour flourishing, exactly. you feel me? Yeah, and it's just like, damn, it's always those, you feel me? It's always the ones that are either just waking up or conscious or trying to fight and prove and change shit, it's always those that they catch. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are they looking for that? Because it's other people, it's like, damn, you would think like, okay, the cop will beat the shit out of this guy. He looked like whoop, 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 yeah. whoop, whoop, but then the cop only do so much. Like, why are not as many gang murders solved? That like, part. shit like that. Like, Because they don't when, give a fuck. Yeah, you know, it's like they keep putting these... Th quote unquote thugs out in the street to keep killing each other because that's still part of their agenda. And see, and that's the so thing man. with the black on black crime versus the black lives matter. You yeah. cannot be a part of black lives matter yeah. if you have a tendency to draw a gun and shoot the next color person because they have on the wrong color tennis shoes yeah. or the wrong color shirt. It it's a it's a it's a contradiction with yourself. Yeah. You can't sit here and march and say, "Yeah, Black Lives Matter." It's not just about the cops. It's about yeah. us too. Yeah, because yeah. we People killing each other off. Because guess what? That's what they want us to do. Yeah, Black Lives Matter is just Come such a great movement because it is focused on judicial, uh, you know, reformation. But it's also just about self love and self knowledge. Like exactly. with Black Lives Matter, outside of all the police misconduct and all that bullshit, it really brought us together as a people. It brought information it had helped information circle as a people everybody loves to be black now is it that beautiful as fuck because be growing black. up yeah you growing up you, used you to wanted be like, to be lighter I mean, yeah you know you, and you not even purpose yeah. yeah. it's just like it yeah, was just wise. always a view yeah, that's just like, how our minds were shaped to think like oh you know lighter is better in a sense or you know oh it was just always something to Even, point out like that person is dark you can yeah. just like it was just like oh black my god she's so and dark it's beautiful yeah you know and growing up i remember there was this girl she, i'll never forget in elementary she broke down and cried and she and I, i'll never forget um one of the i think it was like a little a latino girl she tapped her and was like why are you crying and she said because the other girl told me that i wasn't pretty enough because guess what? That other girl that told her she wasn't pretty enough was light-skinned and had the cute little balls in her head mm -hmm. and had the fresh-ass clothes. But guess what? That dark-skinned girl was very pretty. Like, I was, like, only six. And I was like, well, shit, you cute? Like, <laughs> right. Oh, right. like that's a I'm six, and I know shit, you cute. Girl. Girl. That's oh, a real answer. Right. Right. Shit, you cute. Like, like, like imagine <laughs> ten years from now, girl. We only we six. Be <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we only I wasn't six. the cutest thing growing up. You know what I'm saying? I had my flaws growing up. And that's okay. Like, we all did. And it's, it's okay it's because we're taught. all going to be beautiful. Why. And I think we're 
kind of reteaching our culture back yeah. Yeah. to appreciate and love what you're born and given with. Because people really did suffer from that. People still to this day yeah. still suffer that, oh, I'm ugly because I'm, I'm a dark. dark right? Or mm -hmm. I'm ugly I because of my hair you. texture. Yeah, or I'm you know. ugly because I don't have this. Or I don't have that. And that's not true. Girl, you can put on some sweats and a shirt and you probably still be cute yeah, to somebody else. For real. And it's okay. I mean, that's all self-perception, though. I try to get a lot of people to stop comparing themselves or thinking they're supposed to be like somebody else or what the media says you're supposed to be exactly. like. Like, if you just be you, no matter what, you're going to, like, be happy with yourself. Exactly. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other people got to say because at the end of the day, nobody is you. And, and only you can be you. Love. Yeah, self-love, you can't love nobody else till you love yourself and nobody can love you until you love yourself. Exactly. So you always got to start off with yourself first. You feel me? Love, love yourself. Man. I always get, like, Why'd you dredge your hair? You feel me? Uh, why'd you do this? You straight this? And I'm just like, straight for what? Like, Did what's you guys up hear with about Justin Bieber and how he hair? dreaded his hair? Yeah, his dreads are a hot ass mess. <laughs> that nigga look like my old ass poodle I had, nigga, back in <laughs> the that day. Yeah, but like, no, like, I feel like Justin Bieber crazy. personally, because I've been reading a lot of articles about him. And um, I think Destiny actually told me about how, like, he had to cancel all his meet and greets because he was feeling drained. Yeah. And he wasn't, and like, it was something, like, I feel like he was taking on everybody's energy. That's he what he said drained. in his article. He said that going to so many meet and greets and meeting his fans, he loves his fans, but it's like, you know, with a fan, you hold a celebrity on a high pedestal. You do. So a lot of people look at celebrities like they're a totally different human when we're, in fact, all human. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so he was just saying, like, it, it takes a lot out of him to have you to put on this front. facade, yeah, that front that he's just who he is, you know, like. Well, and, and, and it Bieber... Takes, you a are a Canadian nigga, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> so, like Canadian I don't biggest. know what all this, you know, be you, bro. But at the end of the day, you are just a fucking transformation robot from the industry. Like, <laughs> nigga, if you would have never came to Hollywood, you would not be the Bieber that you are today. Mm -hmm. Just you, like Miley. Both of y'all um, niggas have been tainted by the industry and the media. With the um, dreads, did you guys really quick to hear about the video about the black girl who stopped the white guy in the hallway yeah. at uh, Santa Barbara oh about my his God. dreads and was Why like was I dying laughing like, damn she said it's all culture I'm like okay well. she was so I mean, extra like, was yeah, she was like, like so extra. Extra. Dude, like I okay it's a line like okay yeah the line with African she culture died, yeah, over like, that she, shit like this is ours like come on now dreads you, you, you know known <laughs> There's different races. I've seen so dreads. many different people that, that to have dreads and it doesn't phase me. I've seen so many people that have cornrows and it doesn't phase me. Mean. You can have well, an afro. Nah, the cornrows, I'd be like looking at white people like, bruh, you need to chill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> shit don't oh, last brushes. one like, day. Like, like, for real, I've seen, I've <laughs> seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, um, <laughs> What's so what's so girl? The, uh, Chloe. Yeah. Kim. She she got the fake hair added though, like the extension with the blonde. Yeah. I was like, with the this blonde. Bitch, this bitch tripping. With the blonde. No, yeah, her now, hair is see, long. Now, see, it's cool. If my you braids had your right own hair braided. Come on, now. The reason why yeah. I say I don't care. Why add extra I, hair? At the end part. of the day, why? I can't. I can't, you know, force someone to take their hair down because at the end of the day, I'm going to wear my weaves. I like my natural hair. I like my braids. I like my weaves. It's who I am, you know? Yeah. It's what I like, and can't nobody tell me different. Exactly. That's why I feel like I can't go and tell a white person, yeah, take your braids out your hair. Yeah. He's going to be like, bitch, take that weave out. I'm be like, okay, shit, let me walk away. Right. So, <laughs> you know? I feel I mean, like, like I feel Egyptian like tap dreads. Are you like, Egyptian? Adding, like, like bro, that, that wasn't a good is, point, but... I just didn't like the <laughs> fact that he was saying like, colored people. Why yeah. are you referring to us as colored? Like, we are in 2016. Egyptians are black. I just, <laughs> please, everybody, please understand Egypt is in Africa <laughs> and real. that right. Egyptians were it's black Europe. and they started off as a Nubian dynasty that also originated from Ethiopia, which means black. I just want y'all to know that because that seems to be a yeah, very lost message. Y'all try to make yeah. no, they try to conclude it. Yeah, I mean, include it with the Middle East, and I don't understand how you don't want to make the Middle East a part of Africa. What's what? wrong with y'all? Exactly. You feel me? Like all this world separation, the Middle East is definitely 
Africa. I don't care what nobody say. Just because when Pangea separated, it floated a little bit too far from Africa, don't mean it's not part of Africa still. Because yeah. that's all that really happened. And exactly. that's the same thing with um, Indians. You feel me? They add Indians more to the Asian race. Yeah. You feel me? And they dark as fuck. You yeah. feel me? <laughs> they <laughs> and they got thick ass hair. Yeah. Don't tell me they not black. You feel me? And that's weird because Asians got fair skin and thin hair. Yeah. <laughs> but they say the original Asians were black, black too. Yeah, I see so, the picture. They were kind Asian, of like, they were kind of like, color Raylene and they had like, kinky hair. I'm like, oh, and they had chinky eyes too, like you. Yeah. <laughs> you might right. be one. <laughs> you might be a lost the Guys, lost, my lost I love Asian the conversation yeah. we have. We're coming we, down on time. So yeah, we're gonna have we to, we gonna have to switch that. We're gonna have to have a part two of this conversation. We are, that, most, most definitely. definitely. Because but, I love the conversations that we're having. And I feel like we do need to educate people more about our society, be aware of what's going on in our world. Yeah. But we are coming down on time. Before we go, you guys know I like to end with a quote of a day of the day. And we didn't get a chance to get to our question of the day. I mean our ask the for pers- ask for the perspective question. We, <laughs> you mind if we got, we, I am we got because our, we I got love our, I love I love reading those questions because the people that lets me know people are listening. Yeah. And I love that. Because the more people I get to listen, the more you know what I'm saying? The more, the yeah, more the bigger, exactly. we need you. Come you know, listen, at the y'all. end of the day, like you we need you. Help us help you help so us. Exactly. Me. And That's I and I love that. So I promise you guys I didn't do no I did not do a que- ask for the perspective last week or this week, but I guarantee next week I will have a question for y'all. Um let's um end the show off with a quote. Y'all know me and my quotes, I'm really big on quotes. So. You gotta shake it. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Seven, seven, eleven. Seven, eleven. And seven, these are quotes that I personally nine, nine, nine. used in my life throughout my, you know, my trouble and hard times. So I have my quote. It says, "Without continual growth and progress, and progress, such words." As improvement, achievement, and success has no meaning, and that's from Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin. Benjamin My Franklin. Hey, little Franklin. Bill. Right, little Bill. Without continual growth and progress, such as words, as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. That's that's deep. That is it true. Is. It's deep it and it's really true as hell. Right. And you know what? I hope that these quotes, when I read them to you guys every week, they will stick to you. I want you guys to use them in your everyday lives throughout the week. Just, just think about that. Just think about that quote because it, it really helped me. Mm-hmm. Real, real talk. It helped me so much, and I just, I just want everybody to, you know, just. You know, it's okay to read through quotes. It helps right. you. Apply. Mm-hmm. Apply the knowledge, man. Don't let no like knowledge just fly by you. Yeah. It is. It really helped me. It really healed me spiritually, believe it or not. But unfortunately, you guys, we got to go. So you guys can follow me, Raider Rose with three A's on the Snapchat, Raylene Inez with two Z's on the Instagram. You can also follow our... Our perspective page at Ask, the number four, the perspective. And I feel like I'm missing one more social media. Oh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. Follow me on Twitter. Raylene Inez with one Z. Please make sure to send your letters. One. Please, <laughs> please make sure. Please, please, please make sure to check out the website too at ask the number for the perspective.com. Cameron, tell them where they can find you. you can find me at uh, Fat Cam, F A T T C A M on Instagram, F A T T T on Snapchat. Always three T's. Put, yeah, three T's. Make sure you get three T's on that uh, Snapchat. Add me, I'll add you back. Um, you guys got a uh, Twitter Destiny handle. Denise. You guys got hey. social media over there. Follow me at Destiny Denise with three E's on Instagram. Destiny with Denise with two E's on Snapchat. Fuck Master Lex. Tell them where they can find you. Fuck Master. You can find me on Instagram at It's Wendy Outside. I T S Wendy Outside. And uh, Snapchat Penny Wendy, spelled like it sound. Follow me. I'll follow you back. F, four F, all that shit. All right, guys, <laughs> that wraps it up of this week of the perspective. I'll see y'all next week. Thank you for listening. Holla. Bye.